Do you know if you can own a uni at the Continuum, the Reserve Residences or some of the latest launches, you might be able to own a uni at Orchard or Prime District in Singapore as well. And no, I'm not talking about an old resale. How about a current launch? Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Let's Be Real. Have you ever been one whom wished to own a private property in Orchard, River Valley, Newton and the likes of it and make comments like I can never afford a property in Orchard, that's for the upper class. I got no money. Orchard properties are so expensive. Maybe, just maybe, you might be able to. If you can buy in a brand new OCR outside Central Region project right now, you might be able to afford the remaining units in core Central Region today, like Orchard and Newton area. Yes, you didn't hear it wrongly, it is possible. And this is due to the narrowing of price gap between CCR versus the rest of Singapore at the moment and this is a great window opportunity for you to enter the Atas market. What I'm sharing next might be crucial for younger couples or smaller families, especially if your profile can choose between a 2 bader or a 3 bader Let's look at the price difference between some of the newer launches and the current remaining launches in the core central region. We will take a few projects for comparison. Terra Hill, a 270 units, freehold condominium that is located in District 5 at Yu Siang Road, which is at Pasir Panjang area. Its TOP is in about 3 years time. For a 2 beta plus study, you are looking at around 2.272 million right now at 2,815 PSF. For a 3 beta smaller type, you are looking at around 2.557 million at 2,829 PSF. For a 3 beta plus storeroom with 3 toilets, you are looking at 3.007 mil at 2,766 PSF. Now, let's look at Leiden Green, a 638 units good size, freehold, high rise residential that is located at District 10, one of the most prestigious and prime district of Tangling and Holland. Really near to Holland Village, close proximity to Dempsey Hill, within 1 to 2 km to Nanyang Primary School. Geographically, it's a more sought after location, right? Right now, for a one beta plus study, you are looking at only around 1.647 mil, only at 2,429 PSF. For a two beta high floor, you are looking at 2.168 mil, at around 3,000 PSF. It's a lower quantum and a higher floor as compared to Terra Hill's two bed plus study. For a two beta plus study, there's only one last unit available at 2.498 million. Look at the price gap between these two developments. It is extremely close. If you want to get a 2 plus study at Terra Hill, you can definitely get a 2 beta high floor unit at Leiden Green as well. And Leiden Green TOP is coming up in March 2024. This means you get to collect your keys way sooner as well. Now moving on, let's take a look at the Continuum, a 816 units freehold high rise condominium located at District 15. Close to Dakota MRT, TOP in November 2027. The one beta plus study is around 1.686 million at 3,011 PSF. The two beta is around 1.931 mil at 2,895 PSF. The two beta plus study is around 2.147 mil, 2,978 PSF. The smaller three beta is around 2.709 mil, 2,861 PSF. Now let's compare this with Irwell Hill Residences, a 540 units leasehold located at District 9 super close to Great World City and Great World MRT. TOP in just 2025. Now we are talking about a really supreme location. Currently, it's one beta plus study is asking at 1.647 mil at only 2,639 PSF. And their two beta classic is at 1.938 million only at 2,688 PSF. Again, we see that the price gap is really close. 1.686 mil for continuum in the east and 1.647 for an extremely high floor unit at Irwell Hill in Orchard River Valley area. So both one beta plus study, which would you go for? Besides the price gap, for the continuum on newer projects, you probably need to wait for four years to move in. But for Irwell Hill residences, you only need to wait for two years. So there is a lesser rental cost if you are deciding to rent and wait out for your new place as well. To sum it up, this kind of situation is not common. The reason for this window of opportunity is due to the narrowing of price gap between the older launches at CCR and the newer launches. Over the last few months, we have also witnessed rising land prices of CCR on block sites that are not successfully bidded yet. Just looking at this graph, 
You can tell in the future, the developer's break-even cost will likely be above 3,000 PSF, which means the estimated selling price will be in the mid-3,500 PSF to even 4,000 PSF range. Hence, now is the best times for you to explore buying into CCR while the selling price or PSF is still reasonably low. You are still able to find gems below 3,000 PSF. There is actually another CCR project with 2 beta plus study at only 2,282 PSF, lower than some of the Lantor Hills residences and the Miss 2 beta plus study. However, you have to act fast as the CCR unsold stock is running really low. This means that the prices will be going up gradually soon. Contact me if you like to identify such project. Since we are at the topic of CCR, there is another freehold project launching in District 9. The preview date is from 29 July to 12 August 2023. Orchard Sofia, a 78 units low-rise freehold project featuring one beta to three beta dual key, TOP in 2027. One beta is starting from 1.2 XX mil, two beta from 1.6 XX mil, three beta from 2.1 XX mil, and three beta dual key only from 2.3 XX mil. Very attractive indicative price. If you need more information, feel free to reach out to me. If you find this episode informative, please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and ring the notification bell to get future updates. This is Let's Be Real. Bye.